Nearly a year after a 12 year old Dallas girl died in a natural gas explosion, her family now wants to share with everyone her final moments. Marian Martinez on this for us live in the Northwest Dallas neighborhood near where Linda Rogers died. Marianne. Doug, almost a year later, the home where Linda Rogers died is still here. Her family saying now that they're choosing to release these very intimate videos, hoping that Atmos will improve safety conditions. Good morning, guys. It is 6.02 a.m. Newly released videos show 12 year old Linda Rogers getting ready for a cheerleading competition on the morning of February 23rd, 2018. In a time lapse video, she's doing her hair when you see a spark. Her family's lawyer says the spark was the house filling up with natural gas and exploding. The Dallas Fire Department says two other homes caught fire on the same block where Linda lived, those also blamed on gas. Three days after Linda's death, close to 3,000 Thousand homes in the neighborhood were evacuated so gas could be cut off and homes individually checked for safety. One year later, Atmos tells us it's replaced 98 miles of pipes in that neighborhood. The way I see him work, yes, it's nonstop. Now I think they're overdoing it. Sergio Baragan lives in front of the Rogers home. He says he doesn't believe the company's version of events. Atmos says the pipe system in the Northwest Dallas neighborhood was performing properly before the explosion. Atmos says heavy rains and shifting soil conditions in that neighborhood put enormous pressure on the pipes. So who's at fault? I'm going to say the. Mm, Gas company, maybe? Doug Atmos says its work replacing cast iron pipe is not done. It continues to work in this neighborhood and other neighborhoods throughout Dallas to make those replacements and is actually accelerating the rate at which it would normally make those replacements. Reporting live in Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. Mary